Hello everyone and welcome to my morning report analysis videos on Wednesday the 5th of December with me Richard Pernbach and Alice at Hansen Olympics. <laughs> there has been a huge sell-off through Wall Street last night and that's come through um, the fears of what could be um, an increasing likelihood of a, an inverted yield curve coming down the line. Um, we've seen certain parts of the yield curve between twos and fives to actually go inverted um, and you can see here the 10-year yield falling sharply last uh, yesterday um, amid global growth fears really um, and uh, you can see the twos ten spread now at 11 basis points so just 11 basis points away from the 10-year yield going below the two-year yield that would be um, a significant moment if that were to be seen um, tends to be a very strong indicator for um, subsequent recession between 12 to 18 months further down the line. So that is why we're seeing equity markets sharply lower. Look at that fall on Wall Street, 3.2% on the S&P 500, 800 points there or thereabouts on the Dow, 3.1% lower. Seen a slight rebound actually on S&P 500 futures, about half a percent higher today. Interesting that that's come as um, Donald Trump tweeted last night that um, uh, he was definitely working towards a deal with China. China also uh, gave communication that suggested that uh, the 90 day um, sort of I suppose cooling off period uh, or pause in the in the trade dispute uh, was going to be um, coming through as well. So the same has tended to sort of settle sentiment to a degree um, today um, and uh, that's helped to uh, sort of settle through the forex markets. Yesterday we saw the, the dollar um, spiking lower but then actually rebounding uh, into the close and that's uh, a little bit of volatility around the dollar at the moment but um, a flattening yield curve would I think be another reason that um, the dollar should be um, sort of coming under a little bit of pressure ultimately. Um, but uh, yeah we've seen that uh, volatility um, in uh, US stock markets spiking high yesterday and that really is reflected through European markets today which are around about a percent low across the board. Um, so uh, we've got uh, US markets which are actually closed today for uh, the uh, day of mourning for uh, ex-president George Bush senior um, and uh, that uh, could have an impact today but yeah, ultimately it's likely to be that the markets are just sort of going to be pausing for breath to a, to a degree today. You've got the service sector PMIs, um, US version of the ISM non-manufacturing has been delayed till tomorrow um, but uh, the European service sector PMIs have, um, are coming out and uh, the Eurozone ones have actually shaded to the upside actually, um, a slight upward revision from the uh, prelim reading uh, but still we've got n um, a drop back in the um, in both the composite and the services sector final PMIs from last month. UK services sector PMI coming in at 52 spot 5 um, which would be a slight improvement on last month. So uh, that's this afternoon. But we've also got the Bank of Canada, which is um, giving its rates decision at 3 o'clock, expected to hold fire at 1.75% after last month's 25 basis point rate hike. Um, but uh, that's this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Now, my chance of the day is the Kiwi dollar, which I've been talking in my webinars and, uh, and recently on my um, morning charts actually that um, the Kiwi dollar is increasingly positive and look at that uptrend channel that we've seen in the past sort of coming up for towards two months and that has significantly turned around what what had been a continued corrective outlook of lower highs lower lows that is now turned around to higher highs and higher lows you've got the momentum indicators which are positively configured RSI sort of nicely strong actually towards 70 but every time it hits towards 70 it tends to be sort of met with a bit of a slippage um, a bit of a correction back and I think that that could well be um, what we're possibly in the process of doing just um, unwinding a, a, to an extent you've got the 6850 breakout support pivot that old support became resistance but breaking above that becomes supportive so that's a basis of support on the downside you've got a, a nice sort of buy zone effectively you could argue starting at 6880 with that uh, breakout high um, back towards 68.50 and that uh, uptrend channel comes in at 68.30. So a little bit of a slip back towards that uptrend channel support in this uh, 68.50 towards 68.80 area I think would be an ideal buying opportunity um, on the, the Kiwi dollar. On your hourly chart you can see the um, momentum indicators 
positively configured, but also just tipping over a touch, you could argue on the very near term chart with the uh, possibility of a sort of a, a topping area, which could ag again pull you back towards the breakout area of 68. I mean, on the alley chart, 68.85 is a basis of support, but as I said, 68.50, nice basis of support breaking um, or for the uh, for the breakout level on the uh, on the daily chart. So, a little unwinding move wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world for the Kiwi dollar. Help to renew upside potential and uh, giving a nice little buying opportunity as well. Resistance coming in yesterday's high. 69.70 initially, but uh, a move towards. 70.60 could easily be seen in due course. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you again later.